Hey guys, this is Kugel again with another ROM review and this time I've got Beanstalk 4.4.251 That's a long name uh, ROM for Galaxy S3 Now, Beanstalk has been around for a long time uh, It was available with the Jelly Bean ROM also And this one has now moved on to KitKat So let's get into the ROM now First of all, about the Beanstalk ROM It's one of the best ROMs available for Galaxy S3 it was uh, with the Jelly Bean option now first of all what you see here is the lock screen with the different lock handle which resembles a beanstalk so that's pretty cool you can see the wallpaper which says beanstalk 4.4.4.4 plus so yeah let's unlock the phone now first thing is the launcher which is pretty cool the launcher there are three launchers available with the ROM this one I'm using is the Tebuche launcher. You have other options also. This is the Tebuche. You can go for um, the uh, Holo launcher and also the normal small uh, Google Experience launcher. Also, that's pretty cool. Let's get into the settings menu first of all. Uh, in the settings, you can see there are options, extra options, and um, in the page in the formal the form uh, it says that it is one of the best battery life giving. ROM available yes it is probably one of the best well not as not quite as good as slimcat in my opinion but this is probably one of the best ROMs which gives you a ton of battery life with the features it gives I'll get into that in a bit let's go to the about phone page you can see Beanstalk it is KitKat so pretty cool you can support them uh, it says the be uh, Beanstalk version is 4.4.249 I guess um, I am a bit late but yeah it's, it's, they are incremental updates but this is the latest version and from the OTA updater which they give us so yeah you have also got a about Beanstalk where you can see the contributors and developers etc etc so you can go to their Twitter account and follow them or whatever you want pretty cool now let's get into the settings now first of all in the advanced settings that is where all the magic happens first of all is the beanstalk options this has a lot a ton of options it's kind of comparable to um something like a fusion rom or the uh, the unofficial um dirty unicorn roms because it has ton of options uh, first of all we have the status bar Options first of all is the battery icon. You can change the battery icon. There are a few options available icon percentage, icon width percentage, etc. etc. You can have a lot of options there. Pretty cool. Um, clock and date you do have that. It's kind of like the Tamasics ROM, what Tamasics ROM or Fusion ROM offers, but there's no font option which. Uh, you can have you can pretty cool uh, you can have uh, change you can change all the fonts if you want to it does have a uh, small AMPM and small date which is this is one of my favorite um, things about the ROM okay now it does uh, give you an option to show the network speeds which will be shown here which is pretty cool you can have that signal style signal text uh, etc double tap to sleep again one of the best features of an AOSP ROM you will have you can just double tap the status bar for the phone to go into sleep it does have breathing SMS and missed call and voicemail which will give you the icon in the status bar in a breathing fashion so that's pretty cool um, in other settings you have notification and QS now the notification and QS is similar to the slim ROM uh, notification and QS so you have the slim style location tile you have a lot of options here with the uh, styles option which is probably the best feature about that you do have flip tiles and the styles also so you have a lot of options there pretty cool now in the alerts and warning you can change the uh, low battery alert you can have a pop-up and sound or whatever you want pretty cool less frequent notification sound which is which was I guess it's available in fusion ROM which was really helpful if you get like a ton of SMS's in a shorter amount of time or if you were getting spams or something like that so that's pretty cool now screen on notification light doesn't work actually even if the screen is on the notification light does 
it's turned on so I'm not sure about that display and animation this has a lot of extra options now first of all you have active display with all the new stuff you have a high low uh, pocket mode etc etc even turn off display you have a lot of options there so nothing to worry about there gesture navigation you get you do have gesture navigation basically it gives you zones in all the corners or all the edges where you can use a gesture there uh, like uh, expand notification so you can just click there and it will expand notification so that is gesture no uh, notification you can have a lot of options you can do a lot of stuff with it so the other stuff now it does have screen recorders as any KitKat ROM so I'm not going to get too much into that you can change the video size uh, I guess that's not the best okay this is the best one so you can have that CRT animation now the uh, animation can be orientation uh, dependent scale down animation or um, don't show you uh, my per personal preferences don't show it does have custom system animation which is pretty cool which is the AOKP system animation you can change every aspect of the animations which occurs in um, opening a window closing a window anything like that so that's pretty cool you do have list view animation which is pretty neat you can have a lot of options I am using list view animation of alpha which is pretty good now something uh, new is that it does have toast animation which is pretty cool the default animation is this one it just appears right the toast is that thing now you have something like this or you can have extreme options fast fade or um glow glow fade whatever you have a lot of options translucent the animation uh it does have a lot of options there TN like it opens up like a book or anything like that so you have a lot of options there in the custom progress bar you can have custom progress bar as seen here it w it is available in a lot of other ROMs also but it is available in this one too so that's pretty cool what else uh, it does have uh, inbuilt exposed options so exposed is inbuilt I guess you have to install it manually uh, you have to ins click the install button manually but this it comes with it so that's one step less it does have all of these included that is per app setting which is an excellent tool if you are changing the DPI setting which this ROM does have an inbuilt option for so that's pretty cool it does have Netflix workaround for AOSP 4.4 ROMs which is really great if you are using Netflix okay now in the power menu you can change all these options and replace it with custom apps or whatever option or whatever action you want so that's really cool navigation bar it does have a navigation bar which is pretty cool you can uh, you can change all of these buttons and have uh, different apps which is probably my favorite implementation of the navigation bar which is really great now uh, what else does this have uh, beanstalk pie it does have beanstalk pie which is this one you can have all of these options you do have the option to just change it or whatever you want that's pretty much it uh, it's similar to what any other ROM offers you so I'm not going to give too much time for that uh, build dot mod, uh, mod uh, build dot prop mods and INITD script both of these as I say in any of my other ROMs don't mess with it if you don't understand what it is so just be sh be careful with those it does give you a lot of options so yeah in the general option you can you do have suspend action which is a really good battery saving tool you can enable this and when the screen is off it can switch to 2g or disable mobile data altogether or disable gps which is a really good thing when you consider that those are the ones which eat up the battery life most so that's pretty cool it does have a clock blocker which you can enable but yeah it will take up more battery life system app remover which is a really great feature if it does have three launchers right so if you don't like any of them you can just delete it from here so that's really uh, an ingenious way to go with that so that's pretty cool uh, show enter key all of these are normal features but it does have show enter key for keyboard and also disable full screen keyboard you have a lot of options there also in the miscellaneous options you have a few options first of all recent view settings now this is something which I really appreciate it gives you another option for the recent menu so it can have memory indicator it gives you memory indicator position top right okay uh, let's see what that is okay this is the memory indicator position it's not in the top right position but I'm not sure why it is but I already have this one which is uh, similar you can see the free RAM is 612 megs 
granted i haven't installed any g apps or uh, any new applications but it is pretty phenomenal and even with a lot of apps installed which i did in the previous um yesterday um it did perform uh, at about 500 mix free so that is really good now uh, memory in your clear or button you can have clear or button position also you can select now ram bar can be in gigabytes rather than megabytes so that's something which uh, I'm, I'm not sure if you guys want it but you can have that so that's pretty cool let's see larger thumbnails you can see the large thumbnails which is this one so yeah now here is a recent ram bar option you can have recent ram bar like this so you can change whatever options is uh, given in the ram bar uh, all of these now this is the lcd density changer you can change the density uh, of the uh, rom but from this one you can have a custom density even custom density or a fixed density f which is these so you can have that 320 is a normal one so keep that in mind when you screw up the density so yeah custom carrier label also you can select that that is it in the beanstalk options then you have halo halo again is a really great tool for those who use it i personally do not use it i use the multi window rather than the halo it does have multi window let's get into the multi window option uh, just click that and long click that and you will have add to split view which is really cool you can have that you can add two apps i don't have two apps right now enabled let's see let me show you guys a camera option in that time uh camera is really great you have the slim style camera with uh, a lot of options so that's pretty cool again this is the latest slim style op uh, camera option which has a lot of fixes which reduces the time you get errors so that's really cool you have uh, beanstalk explorer which is a custom uh, explorer i guess so that you can use that so yeah again you can see it uh, is available these um, this one the split view is working perfectly it doesn't have any problems the only thing is that you can't select the size of each app so yeah that's something which you have to live with so that's really cool these are the apps with which it comes as you can see it does have a beanstalk ota as <laughs> that's pretty cool it, it it did show me that this is the latest version of the app uh, the forum says that it is 4.4.251 uh, I'm not sure about that um, yet, but still you do have an OTA op updater in this so that works pretty good So let me show you guys the boot animation, which is pretty phenomenal you, It does have a shutdown animation, which is really cute. So here is the Beanstalk 4.4 plus boot animation, which is pretty cool. It's really great um, It's a minimal boot animation, which is well, Appealing to a lot of people. It's really cool I guess that much is it again uh, I have tested the performance of this ROM with Antutu benchmarks and I guess as you know it's similar I'm not going to show that again I'm not going to install that again uh, it's similar to what you can expect from a lot of ROMs so yeah I guess that much is it about the ROM again about the ROM it's a really feature filled ROM with a better battery life than the others uh, as you can see right now it is at 78 percent that's about half an hour uh, yeah this this video is half an hour but it will be inside uh, 10 minutes if I can but yeah that's a really a long screen on time for a phone in a stretch and it's at 78 uh, percent when I started the video it was at 83 so that's five percentage I guess yeah it's um, close to five percentage drain uh, in half an hour f uh, screen time so you can judge the battery life with that So I guess that much is it about the ROM. Hope you guys like the video Please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye